incredibly amazing over my head. Like, I could always cry later too. Oh, did I really like that? Bunch of potatoes are looking at you. I'm going for an open mic. I've taken a few friends with me for the past open mics, and everyone's reaction has been same. They're like, "Oh my god, we didn't know that it's so much fun." This is why I'm going to blog today's open mic to let everyone know how fun open mics are. I'm also going to share how to prepare for an open mic, like the time limit, what pieces to select, as well as how to practice for it, what happens at an open mic, uh, what to keep in mind when you're performing. I'm going to share my stories about. what experiences i've had at open mics and what i think should happen at an open mic and what i think shouldn't happen at an open mic the last open mic i attended i wasn't having a great day when something doesn't go right in your life it affects your performances but then i've realized that i think you shouldn't let your performances be affected by what's going on in your life because when you go up on stage it should be a different persona you should be your piece you should be what you're going to perform and not what's up with your life i'm from mumbai and in mumbai there are many platforms which organize open mics on a regular basis so i'm going to put a list of all those places over here this is a list of all the platforms i'm aware of there might be more i don't know about or because the demand is growing there'll be more platforms that start hosting open mics in the future if you know of any please put them down in the comments as well as uh, It's very easy to register and perform at an open mic. You know, uh, when I didn't start, I used to think that, oh my god, this is such a difficult thing to find. How will I register? How will I go there? And everything. But once I did the first open mic, I realized that how easy it was. And open mics, there's a time limit for your performance. Like, it's usually five minutes. Uh, there are also places which have the time limit of four. minutes or 7 minutes so somewhere in between and you need to adhere to it so that everyone gets a chance at performing and you know even the platforms which are organizing open mics have an obligation of other events they have employees which have a specific time limit for work right so it's your responsibility to perform in that time limit now how to select uh, the pieces for performance so what you can do is you can select a single piece which fits the time limit or you can select any number of small pieces but you need to adhere to the time limit like there's no restrictions as to the kind of pieces you can perform also it's always said that if there are any trigger pieces just to give a trigger warning so that if someone doesn't want to listen to it if if it makes someone uncomfortable they can either leave the space for your performance and uh, you can perform it like that's the only thing that you need to give trigger warnings for it the audience at open mics are welcoming they are supportive they're kind they're sweet human beings what happens is because everyone's gone through the same thing you're going through like if you stutter if you forget if you know is if your hands are shaking like whatever the people who are sitting in the audience either they might be first time performers as well or everyone's been through it even the most experienced people have been through first performances and the jitters it brings uh, i've heard many people say you've been performing for a long time that even now they feel the same way so they know and they're always supportive if you forget something they'll be like they'll snap they'll clap they'll cheer you up and they'll always compliment and uh, I would like if people start giving constructive feedback to like the piece is good, but there are some places which needs improvements or or you feel that it could have been better and you have suggestions for. I would love if people came to me and told me that you know you can improve in this way or you can make changes over here in this way. I love constructive feedback. I think that's the way you grow. So I would love if people started doing that too. I know everyone isn't okay with criticism about their work, so I understand why people don't go around giving constructive feedbacks to everyone. But I think I would start asking people uh, what are the things they liked about my piece and what are the things they think can be improved. So I think I'm going to start that. You know, if you're scared to go for an open mic, like I know uncertainty is scary. You don't know what's going to happen, and it's kind of scary. So, what I think you should do is talk. 
talk to someone who's gone to an open mic, get to know their experiences, and I am so sure that they'll convince you to go for an open mic. Like I've had people who asked me about it, and I was like, go for it. When you are ready, okay. When you are ready is a great thing. Don't go for it because everyone else is telling you. Go for it when you are ready. When you know you just want to experience it at least once. Go for it. It's an amazing experience to get. For me, I've always wanted to do something which lets me meet new people. Like I am a sucker for stories. Like I love listening to people and the stories and the life. I just love it. I'm a listener. Okay. I know I talk a lot, but I'm a listener first and then a talkative human. and this is the perfect thing like i get to go i get to meet new people i get to listen to their stories it's just amazing how we don't open up to the closest people but then we go on stage and we open up like we keep our heart in front of strangers and it's a beautiful thing how we trust each other to hold those pieces to value those pieces right value those parts of our life and i think it's beautiful i'm going to practice now because otherwise i'm going to be late and i don't like being late okay i'm going to perform i mean sorry i'm going to practice one last time because practice is important you know when you watch people perform and you think that oh they are just born with it so it's born with it they are practice before performances quite a few times and often the videos you watch they are edited like you won't know where they messed up i, I was at an open mic and i wasn't having a good day i wasn't having a good performance so i talked to someone and i told her oh, what was your experience when you started out like were you nervous way did you mess up how do i become better at this and she was like um i wasn't nervous as such because i used to practice 30 to 40 times before every performance and i was like oh, oh i don't even do one fourth of it and i'm already complaining like i don't have any right to complain because i'm not practicing enough and practice is the key she told me that now when she shoots a video there are many times when she messes up and and uh, she needs to take retakes again and again so she was telling me about it and i realized that okay she is in perfect as well and if she can become better at it with practice so can i so can anyone like practice is what makes us perfect one thing i've uh, promised myself is if i want to be confident i cannot promise myself that i'm going to be confident on stage i need to be confident everywhere else in front of the mirror in front of my friends family when i go out i need to practice confidence everywhere in the small things all, all those small things are which creates the bigger things right so that's what i've been trying to do to be confident everywhere so that when i go up on stage that's just another place for me to be confident and let's practice now okay i want to use this as a mic 5 6 7 go till the time i practice let's talk about what open mics are open mics give people a chance to perform their pieces irrespective of prior experience they are poetry storytelling comedy and music open mics they are a great place to build stage presence and connect with other artists You can find platforms which host open mics on Instagram, Book My Show, Google. Different platforms have different ways of registration. It can be via Instagram DM, WhatsApp message, or filling a form. There's a fee which also differs according to the platform. Go to the page to know the guidelines. I've already talked about the time limit and the kind of pieces you can perform. You can perform poems, stories, shyries, or a mixture of these three. As for practicing. You can practice in front of the mirror or people. You can also record yourself while practicing to see where improvements can be made. You know, before my second open mic, I was nervous, and I wanted to practice in front of someone before performing it on stage. So I got on a video call with my friend who watched me practice. It calmed my nerve. My advice is try to engage the audience and make them feel a part of the performance. You can perform the same piece at different open mics because the audience will be different every time. Or perform new pieces, whatever you want. You make the rules. Experiment with new pieces. Open mics are for trial and error. See what connects with others, what doesn't. But never be disheartened by a lack of reaction. 
Learn from others but don't compare or try to be a copy. Be your own person. Okay, we are done practicing now. Thank you. What I believe in is uh, you cannot wait until you're ready, until you're perfect to do what you really want to do. Because you become perfect after doing it. Not you become perfect and then you do things. No, you cannot reverse the timeline. You do and then you become perfect. You don't become perfect and then start doing things. Okay, that's that. that the timeline is wrong. Dance is a part of everything Memories I do. Memories fall of you and then like, okay, that was right, that was right. Memories fall of you the next I can feel the way, I can feel the way. Take it to the corner of my mind. Feel the way, I feel the way. Take it to the corner of my mind. I cannot sing to you. I haven't done many times that I have a good voice. But yeah, I don't know how to do it, so I don't have to sing it. Tell me. Thank God, at least I perform. So at least performing, I can sing. I wanted to be a good singer. And I realized that, okay, you cannot be perfect, you cannot be good at everything, but why? I want to be good at everything. The piece I'm going to perform today is called The Girl I Used To Be. Uh, the only thing I remember of writing it is, uh, I was crying a lot. I don't know why. But I think that piece deserves a few tears. It's about my change. Like, from being a person who didn't believe in herself to a person who believes in herself and who just goes after things she wants and who works for herself, who works for who she wants to be. So that piece is about that the journey and I love it. It's close to my heart. I performed it at my first open mic and I was a nervous wreck as expected which I didn't expect but then I realized that okay just because I'm confident in my head doesn't mean that I'll be confident on stage too if I don't practice it well enough. So practice is the key and uh, now I'm giving it a shot again. I want to perform it because honestly, I love that piece and whenever I read it, I'm like, whoa, I wrote this, I cannot believe that, you know. There are some pieces you look at and you're like, whoa, did I really write that? <laughs> what was I thinking when I wrote it? Like, did God just bless me at that exact moment to write a piece like this? Okay, enough of narcissism. Yeah. Let's get back to work. Let's get ready and go for the open mic. Okay. The open mic I'm going to is hosted by Awaken Words. My friend is joining to watch me perform, but she didn't want to be in the video. So just imagine an extremely witty and sarcastic person. Okay, we are here. Awaken Words was founded by Nassar. One of the best things about Awaken Words is they have four to five free slots for people who don't have the resources to pay for the registration fee, but deserve a platform for their art as much as everyone else. That's a great initiative. As an audience, remember to be kind. Everyone is giving their best. I'm not asking you to be fake, but be supportive as a fellow artist. We grow together. You never know how your words and actions can impact someone. Be careful about them. If the energy is dull and you don't want it that way, be the energy and be unapologetic about it. Laugh, clap, snap. Energy is contagious. It'll spread. And soon, everyone will join the party. It's our turn, let's go! Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm Lavina and I have to tell you that this is the language that you have to say. Languages are just a means. So, in Hindi or English, I will tell you that I have to tell you that I have to tell So, I'm going to perform in English as well. <laughs> <laughs> To give context to why everyone's laughing, what happened was 9 out of 10 people were performing in Hindi. They joked that when someone performs in English, we'll just focus on the next one. I was like, no, <laughs> not happening in my watch, buddy. Then I started performing. The first part was the introduction to give the audience an idea of what the piece is about. Then I started performing the piece without referencing my mobile for the first ever time. You'll know why I did that in some time. I was very nervous, so my friend told me to imagine that everyone's a potato. Which I couldn't, but she says it helps her. So yeah, imagine potatoes are looking at you. 
One thing I realized was I don't give people the time to absorb what I'm saying and clap if they want to. I just carry on performing without a care. When I watched the video, I thought to myself, take a breath, give people some time to make sense of what you're saying. But the reaction of the audience was great. Being on stage is nerve wracking. Your heart goes crazy before performance. No matter how many times you've been on stage, it's always a new experience. You'll be nervous. I'm usually a bit out of it in the first few seconds of a performance. One time I was completely zoned out. Till date, I have no clue what I did on stage that day. I don't have a video of that open mic. At one open mic, my friend joined me. That piece I was performing was about my journey of finding real friends, which includes her. At first, I thought it's great. I'm performing that piece, and she's in the audience. <laughs> what happened was we both got emotional. She cried, and I was almost about to cry mid-performance. I was thinking to myself, it is either crying or continuing the performance. I chose performance. Like I could always cry later. Though. <laughs> that was the first time I felt every word I spoke. You know, you don't mess up as much as you think you did. I always think to myself that I messed up at too many places. But the ones who watch me tell me it didn't look like it. You aren't as bad as you think you are. Use mobile or book for reference if you want to. Do whatever you're comfortable with. Don't feel compelled to act a certain way just because others are doing it. A way to get over the nerves is go on stage as many times as you can. That's the only way. Remember, practice is the key, kids. I've heard many people say that stage is their home. They feel the most fulfilled while performing. That's heartwarming to hear. I hope we find our home in stage too. One tip for the organizers is if the organizing team itself is talking in the middle of someone's performance, it lowers the morale of the performers. It is your responsibility to make sure the atmosphere is welcoming, inclusive, lively, and the performers get the attention they deserve. So, keep that in mind. Okay, we are done with the performance. Thank you. Happy. This place has a great view. We're going to have some food, talk about our lives, and go back home. Moon is my forever good luck. I had the best open mic. I had the best open mic in all the open mics I've attended. I, I guess I've performed at six open mics, and this was the best. Um, it's because I was feeling confident, and I think when your mind is in the right place, uh, you automatically feel good. Like everything just feels great. And on top of it, one of my friend had accompanied me, who isn't much interested in poetry to be honest, but she's like, no bro, I need to see you perform. I was like, okay. <laughs> so it feels great uh, to have someone beside you, who you know, and who you can talk to about anything. Like, uh, we like school kids, okay? Turning to each other after we performance and being like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this was the first time I performed without any reference. Like, uh, I didn't use mobile or book or anything, okay? So what happened was, at the last two open mic, someone told me that uh, if you use mobile phone, how are you able to connect with the audience? Like, if you look in it and then perform so how are you able to connect with the audience and i won't lie i got a bit offended and a bit defensive i'm like i'm just starting out and you cannot expect me to be all confident and go without a reference right but this time i performed a piece which is very close to me and it's like i can perform it with muscle memory it is that close i was like no this time i'm going to perform without a mobile phone okay when I was sitting in the audience, I was like, oh my god, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. Maybe I just keep it beside me, not use it, but keep it beside me for assurance. But then I was like, no, this is like learning how to ride a bicycle. You just need to let go to learn, you know. Unless and until you don't let go, you won't know how much you've learned. So I was like, okay, we are not using our phone, we are going to perform, whatever happens, even if we mess up, no one's going to remember what's the worst that's going to happen. 
Like you mess up, that's it. People, everyone's, everyone's thinking about themselves, okay? No one cares about what you are up to. No one remembers. Most people won't remember unless there's something hilarious that happened or you performed in a way which like moved people or you performed in a way which which connected to them deeply that's what people remember but otherwise everything else will you know after a while you'll just forget so you know the embarrassment will only be for those few minutes that you're performing after that people will move on move on to someone else or think about themselves you know all self-centered human beings again I performed without my mobile and I, I was nervous so the first part I was performing on muscle memory take care muscle memory ke power pe sab chal raha tha the first part ho gaya uske baad second part third part and I know I mixed up a few things and I missed out so what I did was when I missed out I just I just read it out <laughs> in some other place I was like waste nahi hone denge lines theek hai perform kar lenge jahan bhi hai but it it related to the same thing so I performed it otherwise nahi perform kar liya otherwise chhod deti and uh, and i actually felt it connecting to people and having their attention and it just felt great it felt like an achievement to do that to perform without my phone and uh, i'm going to keep doing it i want to own the stage i want to own people's heart and mind like that is the goal and i'm going to do it someday we're getting there day by day I just had an incredibly amazing open mic. That's it. I've shared everything about poetry open mics. If you still have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Let me know if I should keep making such videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next week. Bye.